Hi everyone, this morning Naval News brings you another rare access as MBDA welcomes us on their site in La Celle Saint-Denis. We are a couple hours south of Paris, pretty much in the middle of nowhere, and it is here that Europe's leading missile manufacturer is conducting the final assembly of the world-famous Exocet anti-ship missile, and more specifically, its latest variant known as MM40 Block 3C. Pierre-Marie Bello, good morning. Good morning. You are in charge of uh, deep strike weapons at uh, MBDA. Can you tell us more? Yes, I am the product line owner of uh, deep strike for MBDA. So I am in charge of the strategy, the evolution and overall the future of all the deep strike products of MBDA, of the group. Before we start discussing uh, MM40 Block 3C, uh, can you please tell us more about the site uh, in which we are uh, right now? So we are in the site of uh, Cell saint -Denis, which is a very special site for MBDA because this is where the final integration of MBDA France products are performed before delivery to the customer. So we integrate in this facility the deep strike products, so the exocet we are going to speak about, but also the, the scalp. We are also integrating Mika, Aster, uh, so for... Uh, ground-to-air and air-to-air -air combat, but also Mistral, Acheron. So really a core site for, for our company. Pierre-Marie, I believe uh, most of our audience is uh, probably familiar with the, uh, the Exocet, uh, a very successful anti-ship missile. Uh, today, Exocet is a family of missiles, is that right? Uh, absolutely. So uh, Exocet is a family of missiles that has started in the 80s. It has been extremely successful on the market. But from the 80s, the product has continuously evolved with a, with a lot of various versions. We are almost we are in continuous improvements for the product. And the product has been declined with, of course, a ship launch version, but also a submarine launch version, air launch version. And now we have a coastal battery version. So it's really about a family of products. Today, uh, you are producing uh, the latest variant, the MM40 Block 3C. Uh, for two customers. Uh, so what is the Block 3C variant? So the, the core of the uh, Exocet family has been to deliver to our customer a permanent capability in anti-ship combat. So the core from the beginning uh, of Exocet was to able to fire 24 hours per day, every day per week, you know, 360 days per year whatever the weather condition. So this is an, an essential characteristic of Exocet. Uh, in order to keep this permanence, which is really essential, uh, we need to cope with the new environment. And the core uh, transformation of the uh, maritime warfare environment now is electronic warfare. Uh, we have seen uh, an explosion of the density of electronic warfare on all the area of combat. And we see it currently in Ukraine, obviously. Uh, but this become a, an essential element for uh, anti-ship combat. So Exocet B3C you know, is designed to allow this permanent capability, whatever the electronic warfare condition and density. And uh, Pierre-Marie, that's the key differentiator of uh, the latest variant of the Exocet compared to other anti-ship missile solutions on the market. That's clearly the core new differentiator of the B3C. But B3C is coming also with a very proven reliability of the product. Uh, this is a combat proven uh, product, basically. I understand the main new feature of uh, the Block 3C variant is the new seeker. Can you tell us more and uh, can you share with us what Korean seeker means? So core transformation from B3 to B3C is the seeker. But this transformation has uh, required us also to transform a certain number of stuff in the missile on the software. But the, the starting point is the seeker. So this is a G-band coherent seeker. Uh, this is really state of the art. This is the latest technology for, for seeker in anti-ship version. It gives us uh, robustness uh, against uh, all the current uh, identified electronic warfare uh, uh, countermeasures. Uh, uh, so this is where we are on this seeker. What's the current status of the of the program today? So the B3C uh, MM40 
is now in full production and we have started the deliveries for our, uh, for the Marine National, for the French Navy. Pierre-Marie, the new seeker is uh, fitted for now on the uh, MM40 Block 3C, so the, the surface launch variant. Uh, is there any plan to uh, integrate this seeker on uh, either submarine launch variants, uh, like the, the, the model behind us, or air launch variant? So the, this is part of the, of the life of the family and part of the benefit to have a family. So currently, uh, the seeker is integrated on the ship launch version, so uh, MM40 Log 3C, but a natural evolution will be to integrate this seeker on the other version, I mean submarine launch version, you can see uh, SM39 there, uh, air launch and coastal batteries. Pierre-Marie, you are now taking us to another building where you're connecting the final assembly of the exoset? Absolutely. So this building, it's uh, the, the largest facility of its kind uh, in Europe. And this is where we are performing the final integration of exoset, but also of the scalp missile. Uh, indeed, you know, uh, in order to uh, develop, integrate and produce such a missile, as like the uh, Mer Mer uh, MM40 B3C, uh, you need a unique set of experience that only very few companies in the world can handle. Especially with such a G-band seeker, with the complexity of the integration, it's really, really unique. So you are at the art where the final product is going to be uh, uh, finally integrated. Fabien, good morning. Good morning. Can you please first tell us about your role here? Yes, I uh, manage the production of the uh, Exocet uh, B3 and B3C for uh, all our customers from the beginning to the, the deliver of the missiles. Uh. Very well. So what uh, kind of uh, work do you specifically conduct uh, or your teams conduct in this, in this building? Uh, in this workshop, we uh, make the final integration of the inert uh, missile before we, uh, we put the missile in the power technology activities to, to add the warhead uh, in the missile. And uh, once uh, that's, uh, that's done, uh, what do you send the, the, the missiles to the, the, to the end user or do you store it somewhere? We store it in a power technology uh, bunker before we deliver to the customer. What are your main uh, challenges in terms of uh, production of Exocet missiles? for this family of missiles is to make sure that we can produce uh, all versions of uh, Exocyte. So we can produce B3 and B3C at the same time. Uh, we have invested in a new test bench for the uh, B3C uh, capabilities, but uh, we are able to produce and uh, refurbish all the missiles for our customers. Uh, were there any challenges with uh, your co-workers, with the workforce? Uh, the, um, challenges for uh, us is to deliver uh, to the French Navy uh, all, of, uh, all the missiles uh, we have to produce and uh, after is to uh, assure the ramp up of the production. We have uh, implemented the training uh, to develop the versatility of uh, our staff. Last question, the Exocet production line is hot and running currently for two customers, the French Navy and the Hellenic Navy, but should MBDA receive additional customers, can you ramp up production? Yes, of course, we can uh, ramp up the production. And uh, for the production of the Exocet missile, the lead time to produce is at least uh, one month uh, on the site of uh, Cell Sandy. The MM40 Block 3C anti-ship missile was test fired from the French Navy for the very first time in September 2023 from Frame Frigate Alsace. I had the rare chance to exchange a few words with the commanding officer regarding that maiden firing. Commandant Henri, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Xavier. You are the commanding officer of Air Defense Frame Alsace, and you took part in the first ever uh, firing of an MM40 Block 3C missile in September last year. How did this uh, test uh, go? Uh, yes, I had the chance to shoot the first uh, ever 40 Mermer 40 Block 3C missiles, the 20th of September last year. Uh, we made the uh, the tests and the, the, the shooting in a more, uh, the more realistic environments uh, possible. We took all the dispositions we would have taken in combat and the, uh, the shooting was uh, successful. 
Compared to legacy uh, MM40 Exocet anti-ship missiles, what does the new Block 3C variant bring? Uh, it's a kind of brand new missile, especially for the seeker, which has much more capability in uh, uh, denied uh, electronic warfare environments. It has capacity to, uh, to um, operate in a very demanding electronic warfare environment, especially with jamming and, and so on. It is also more lethal because more accurate. And uh, as a sailor uh, that you are and the commanding officer of a uh, first rank uh, vessel, uh, why is that important uh, when you are with your crew at sea? For us, it's a, it's a great chance because uh, it provides us more chance to, uh, to uh, um, destroy the uh, enemy, uh, enemy vessel, uh, especially the, the well defended ones. So it's very important to have this kind of missile on board. And uh, nowadays, uh, so the all first rank uh, frigates and the vessels of the French Navy are fitted with this uh, missile, namely the, the, the frame and the, the Forbin class Horizon type uh, air warfare destroyers. Yeah, that's the plan to uh, equip all the first rank uh, vessel with these uh, missiles. And uh, we will have ours uh, soon after our maintenance period. Captain Henri, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you so much for uh, your warm welcome uh, on your site here in uh, La Selle Saint Denis. Before we part ways, uh, can you please share with us uh, what the future holds for the Exocet uh, family? Is uh, the Block 3C the, the, the final version of the missile? Uh, Block 3C is certainly not the final version of the missile. The Exocet family has developed over now uh, almost 40 years. In fact, there are few very, very, very few common parts between the first exocet and where it stands now. So the family will continue to evolve. Uh, by the way, the product is entering into the French Navy now, which means that it's going to be in service for a long period in front of us. Uh, so exocet will continue to evolve also in that frame and will be used, of course, in conjunction with the next generation of anti-ship, uh, which is going to be the FKSW family. Very well, Pierre-Marie. Thank you very much again. Many thanks.